I love creating practical tutorials about things that are happening in my business. This week I had two separate clients reach out to me who wanted graphics to advertise PDF resources on their websites. One wanted to advertise a freebie, the other wanted to advertise a guide that she wanted to sell on her website. So in this tutorial, I will show you how I use both Smart Mockups and Canva to create the graphic that you see today. If you would like access to my VIP Vault, which is my epic resource library that is filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. When you're trying to get more signups for your freebies or sell your ebook online, it's extremely helpful for you to have an eye-catching ebook cover. And so that's what we're going to create today. A client of mine created a 2019 prospect guide to help people in the Ohio area get connected with corporations and organizations offering grant opportunities for those groups of people looking to serve women and girls. So this guide that is 30 pages long is extremely valuable and so it's important that it is displayed properly on her website. Now for her cover, she chose to use Canva and she utilized an eye for ebony image on the front. So if you have an eye catching cover, you can utilize the real cover of the materials. Otherwise, you can design an image specifically in Canva just to make the graphic. So the first thing we're going to do is to take a screenshot of the cover. I'm currently using a PC, so I'm going to utilize the snipping tool. We're going to go ahead and open that and just take a snip of this cover and save that as an image. And we'll name it cover. Then we're going to hop into the website Smart Mockups. Under Print Mockups, we're going to select Magazine and Books. We'll scroll down and select the design we'd like. I'm going to utilize this one. And then we're going to upload from our computer the cover. We can adjust the cropping where we'd like it, then hit crop and continue. Now, if you see on the left hand side, we have a book spine for this graphic, so we need to design that. So if you look on the side, you'll see the exact size is 200 by 1500. So we'll hop into Canva and we'll type in 200 by 1500 and create a new design. The font that she used for the cover was Montserrat, so that is the same font we'll use on the book spine. We'll hit text, add a heading, and type 2019 Prospect Guide. We'll change the font to match, increase the size, and make it bold. Then what we'll do is we'll drag it up, and we'll rotate it. Once you rotate it flat, drag it from the middle so that you can get everything on one line, put it over your template, then select position, center, and middle. When you do that, it will put your text exactly in the center and middle of your design. Now you have a couple options. You can click here to download it like you typically would do, or you can utilize the Smart Mockup feature to just copy your Canva design link. Go over to Smart Mockups and say Upload from Canva and paste in your URL. When you do that, it will pull your design directly from Canva and drop it into Smart Mockups. We'll hit Crop and Continue, and there's your graphic. So you've got a couple options here when you go to download it. When you download it now, as you can see as represented by these boxes, this has a transparent background. So we'll, we're going to download that so we have that as an option. So we'll do a high download and that's going to save as a PNG to your desktop. The other thing we can do is customize this scene. So if you have a background image or a color, a brand color you wanna use, you can just throw that in. But I'm going to choose to use just a white background. 
and download that as well. I hope you enjoyed this Canva and Smart Mockups tutorial. I hope to do more like this in the future to teach you how to make incredible graphics on your own utilizing both of these websites. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe. Until next time, ta-ta for now.